Don't get stuck. There's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 through 8 is one of my favorite passages in the entire Bible. It may be one of the most underrated verses if you ask me. It goes on to list how there's a time for love and hate, a time to tear and mend, a time to keep and throw away, a time to be silent and to speak, and a time to weep and a time to rejoice, among many others. For some reason, it seems to be a misconception that strong emotions among Christians means we're not as holy as we should be. That if we struggle with real sadness, we're not truly grateful for the blessings we have. Or if we find ourselves feeling hurt or angry or disappointment, then we're not loving the way we're supposed to be. Ecclesiastes 3 debunks that. In a beautiful this or that comparison, we're reminded that there is a time for strong emotions, but there is an equal time for their counterpart. For every hard aspect of life we face, there's a positive balance we can rely on. Here's the kicker though, it's a choice. While there's a time to laugh after weeping or a time to dance after mourning, we have to make the choice to walk towards those promises. We have to wake up and determine whether or not our day will be faced with a smile or a frown, and the longer you walk in negativity, the easier it becomes to stay there. Habits form and change is hard, but when we hold fast to the truth in this scripture, we can trust that better days are always on the horizon as long as we don't get stuck in the storm. Oh, 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 oh,